In this video tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to host or create a meeting in Zoom using your laptop or your desktop computer. The most efficient way to host a Zoom meeting on your laptop or desktop computer is using Zoom app. So the first thing you need to do is download and install the Zoom app. I will also share the link in the description. To be a host of a meeting, you also need to have an account with Zoom. So make sure you head over to the Zoom official website and sign up for free. So once you've downloaded the app and created an account, it's time to host the meeting. To do that, launch the Zoom app. This is what the Zoom app will look like. I'm using an Apple computer. If you're using a Windows-based computer, your interface might look a little bit different, but the our idea is still the same. There are two ways you can host a meeting. You can either select a new meeting or schedule a meeting. The main difference is that when you create a new meeting, the meeting will start immediately. Schedule a meeting, you will have more flexibility as to when uh, the meeting will start, and you will also have more option as to how the meeting is run. Let me walk you through both options. When you click on new meeting, I normally deselect start with video. Uh, that's why the camera is crossed. Once you click that, the Zoom will ask you which audio and video you wanna use. So make sure you join with computer audio. Uh, this is what the user interface looks like. In the left bottom corner, you can see uh, microphone and video options. Right now, I'm not streaming any video, but my microphone, uh, the green sign will indicate that my microphone is working. I, I might wanna mute it. So right now, neither microphone nor camera is working. So the next thing you wanna do is to invite participants. You have a couple of options when it comes to inviting participants. If you click on invite, you will see a couple of things here. First, you see copy invitation. Now, if you click copy invitation and open text editor or your email, this is what the Zoom will offer you as an invitation. It will say join Zoom meeting, web link, the meeting ID and the password and some other things. Now, the two most important things for your participants to receive are first two lines, the Zoom meeting URL or link and the meeting ID. I normally delete the rest and just leave those two lines and uh, simply add uh, something like, uh, dear all, I'm hosting a meeting uh, to join, follow this link. I think this is much more concise. You might wanna add something else depending on the context. Let's head back to the Zoom app. Copy URL will simply, I'm just show you what it does. We'll simply copy this link, which you can then share not by email, but maybe by means of messengers or other ways of communication. To kind of sum it up, there are two ways. You can either copy the URL, this will generate a link, or you can copy invitation, this will generate a somewhat generic invitation that you can use or edit later on. I don't really don't sync Zoom with my contact, that's why I don't use contacts uh, at all. If your participants have been muted by default, uh, you might want to hover over the microphone and click unmute. I use my phone as a John participant and when I try to unmute Joan, Joan will receive a notification that will tell him that a host would like to unmute my microphone or Joan's microphone. If I click unmute now, I can now speak. You can hear the echo because I started speaking here. And that's why there's an echo. This is what you can do as a host. You can unmute or you can ask to start video. You can see that John uh, has joined the meeting with his audio. This is this is Joan right here on the phone. And this is the host. And this is what you can see on the host. So John, has, uh, John has joined the meeting. With his, uh, with his video. The reason why you sometimes need to unmute people is because uh, there are settings in Zoom where you can by default mute everybody. And this is really helpful not to create external noise. Other things you can do, you can share your screen or you can share a whiteboard. If I click on the whiteboard and click share, uh, then this will generate a whiteboard and now I can um, start drawing uh, everything I draw as a host will be shared with our participant. If you wanna stop sharing the screen, I'm gonna click stop here. Uh, you might wanna share other things. You might share some of the window that you currently have open. And when you go to chat, you can send some files either to everybody or you can select individual participants and share some files with them. You can record the session or you can do breakout rooms. 
because I only have one participant, I can actually use this function, but what it enables you to do is to break out participants into different rooms for, let's say, discussions, then bring them back all together. That's about it, what you can do when uh, you start a meeting right away. If we want to end the meeting, click end the meeting. This is what happens when you start a meeting right away. Now let's start and schedule the meeting. What it enables you to do is to create the meeting in advance. It will not start right away, it will start when you set it to start. Uh, first thing we need to do is to select the name or the topic, then select the date. I normally click on using personal meeting ID. I don't normally require a meeting password. Video for host uh, on and off, and you can change it later on uh, at the meeting. I normally leave video for participants off, but again, you can invite them later on. An advanced option, a uh, useful tick to leave is to mute participants on entry. By doing that, when participants join the meeting, their audio is automatically muted. If you start presenting and someone is late, their audio will not interfere. So make sure that you mute participants on entry. Once you click schedule, this will generate an invitation that you can again copy or edit a little bit and then send it out to participants. It has again two main things that you might want to make sure you send out is the link and the meeting ID. Your upcoming meeting will appear under upcoming meetings. You can always edit or copy more invitation or even delete or join from a room. Join from a room basically means uh, you're able to preview the meeting before it starts. All right, so today we've covered how to start a Zoom meeting using your laptop or a desktop computer. Thank you for taking the time to check out this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and see you in the next video tutorial. Bye-bye.